What up, what up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jason, welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise gameplay, and today we are going up against the division rivals, the Seattle Seahawks, in week 16 of this season, man, we are actually getting very, very close to the playoffs, man, They're so close I can taste them and look at Trent Richardson um, almost took that all the way but thankfully we stop him uh, you know within the red zone right there so one huge play one great run and right there he's he's celebrating man just just mid run he's gonna go on ahead and stroke he stroke a hurdle but no reason but no reason then he went ahead and LeBron does you know what ahead and LeBron does I'm, okay okay that's how you feel man that's really how you feel okay I see, I see how we getting down today so on comes to the field, Colin Kaepernick with uh, an absolute horrible stat line with so many interceptions. <laughs> it's man, we threw almost thirty interceptions. Let's let's add on to the total. Yeah, let's let's throw it right over there to Earl Thomas. Just he was he was completely wide open. Let's let's just throw it dot right to him. In the very next play, Dante Hall's like, excuse me, come again <laughs> with the interception. Give it to me, baby. No of you. Oh yeah. Coming through with the, one of the rare interceptions that you get going up against the CPU on all Madden. Uh, right there, man, outside shoulder pass to my main man, Butler, who has been such a huge, huge part of this offense ever since I discovered my main man from the free agency. Man, he has been doing spectacular, spectacular things. Um, Like I was saying about, uh, you know, week 16 and everything, uh, so far as we throw a touchdown right there, you see uh, D, uh, Des Bryant hitting us with X. Uh, the Vikings franchise, I, I'm pretty sure I remember I was going 14-2. and two. So, uh, so far this year, we actually have an opportunity to go on ahead and uh, actually uh, circlips that, uh, you know, season by possibly going 15-1 uh, and one if we're able to win this game and, you know, the, the game that follows. And I believe we end the season with the game against San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, then they go back again with the run. Trent Richardson is just having a spectacular game. You know, as usual, man, stopping the defense. Uh, excuse me. Playing on defense, you know, trying to stop the offense is is very, very difficult to do because the uh, the computer just is it's cheesy. It It is, man. They always find people open. They always block enough people. They always just never rarely drop the ball. They catch every interception and... You know, uh, thankfully, we actually did a very, very amazing job in drafting a uh, defense that can go on ahead and, uh, you know, provide stops. Without a doubt, this defense is way better than the defense in Minnesota. And, um, like, right there was a very clutch swap pass right there from the safety. I uh, thought that uh, the ball was perfectly thrown over the top, but a safety just comes out of nowhere and swats it down. So, um here we go again, man, back again, passing the ball, you know, so much. And uh, like I said, we, we threw a ton, a ton of interceptions so far this year. And uh, that right there has a lot to do with me running the ball so much. You know, uh, I ran the ball right here. I got a little upset at myself. I'm like, how do I miss that tackle and give up an extra eight yards? This is unnecessary eight yards. But uh, here goes, man, back again, Davis and... You know, just throwing throwing dots. <laughs> you know, I, I definitely do struggle uh, stopping the computer. Even though we do have a, a marvelous record, you know, uh, a, a lot of it has to do with us being able to have, you know, a, a really good defense. Even though I suck at defense and even though stopping a team is hard, uh, you know, the computer definitely comes through with, you know, huge plays. A lot of it uh, has to go with Patrick Willis and whatnot, but... You know, like I was saying in the last franchise, man, I really, really enjoy this a ton. You know, I never thought I would have so much fun, you know, playing franchise. And it's something I look forward to playing, you know, as often as possible. Something I truly, truly enjoy. And I'm really, really, really liking this franchise to the point where I'm not sure, as Earl Thomas again comes with the interception, I'm not sure if we're going to continue this franchise or if we're going to go on ahead and, uh, you know, start a new draft. Like when the Vikings ended, we went ahead and got ourselves a brand new draft, which is obviously the, the team you're looking in front of you now. But, you know, this team is, you know, a very young team. You know, we got a lot of young players that I actually like. And I'm actually, you know, thinking about just continuing the season and having the players progress. I, I would like your guys' feedback on that. You know, 
we have a ton of young players. We got DeMarco Murray, who's less than, you know, five years. We got Gronkowski, who's young. We got Kaepernick, who's less than five years. We got uh, Des Bryant, Tavon Austin, Butler. You know, we, we got a lot of parts to this team that are, you know, uh, definitely, you know, young. On, on the defensive side of things, we got some, some crafty seasoned veterans. You know, we got Pat Willis. We got Mario Williams. We have two young safeties in Reed and Elam. But, you know, we also have uh, Cameron Jordan. And I just really, really, really like the team we assembled. Now, the fun thing is about the franchise, I'm not going to lie, is the draft. Like, doing the draft itself is very, very fun. But, you know, I'll leave that up to you guys. You know, if you guys would rather see me continue right there, man. Throw an absolute strike right over the middle of the field, the big old Gronk. As he hits us with the Gronk spike. I think uh, before I upload week 17, I'm going to go on ahead and um, show, like, where we stand as far as uh, stats. Or maybe I'll show that after that. I don't know. Maybe we'll show that after the end of the season. All right. Then we actually get a, a pick six by your boy Shaboinkin. Shaboinkin. Going ahead and style on him. One time. Right there, the rear pick six right there. Actually, our second interception of the game. And that was huge because we were going into halftime possibly down 14 to 20. And uh, they do have 20 because I did get lucky on a PAT and uh, we swatted that bad boy loose. But um, like I said, we were actually going into halftime down. And if we had to score to take the lead on the possession that started the half. So to be able to go into halftime with the lead was huge. So that right there was a huge, huge you know, pick six, considering I was struggling. Right, look at big old Gronk. He's some dirt, son. It looked like he was going to be able to take it all the way. Oh, man. Oh, man. But a definitely a great reception. He did get injured in the on-swing play. Uh, just a bad, bad throw by me. And again, uh, end up getting another interception. I think that's like, what, our fourth of the game or something like that. I am just throwing the ball to way, way too many Seahawks. And... Again, that comes with throwing the ball so much. You know, I only run the ball two, three times a game. And that's just to switch up from how I was in the Vikings franchise where I passed, you know, rarely. You know, all I did was run the ball with AP. So uh, I wanted to have a different season. But um, again, man, if I could get you guys' opinion on what you guys would rather watch progress with the season. You know, should we, once it's done... Should we continue or should we go on ahead and get ourselves a, a new season and maybe even switch up the draft, you know, because uh, first draft, we went heavy, heavy run this draft. I, I think we went more definitely more balanced, but we also went heavy pass, you know, drafting, you know, no offensive line to Marco Murray really late, but going with uh, another interception. I'm just playing horribly this game uh, drafting, you know, Kaepernick, you know, young pocket. Well, not really a pocket QB because he's got some mobility, but uh, I chose him to stay in the pocket because he's got such a strong laser arm. You know, getting him, also getting, you know, Des Bryant, Tavon Austin, my boy Momo Gronkowski, a lot of offensive weapons. Uh, I, I would think if we do, let's say we do do another draft, which I would love to do because these, these franchise games are really, 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 really fun. I, I truly enjoy them a ton, you know, because... Uh, I feel like it definitely has gotten me better at Madden. Because if you can do decent against the team in all Madden, man, you, you should definitely have success uh, playing this game against the majority of people. Because the way how, how psychic the computer is is so cheesy that if, if you can limit your mistakes and, you know, take advantage of uh, anything that the computer does wrong. Because believe me, they don't make too many mistakes. But, you know, if, if you can be successful... And that's, that's pretty much every year in Madden. You know what I mean? If you can be successful in the game of Madden against the computer and all Madden, all their cheesiness, you know, uh, you definitely can be successful against, you know, majority of people that um, if you want to take your, your talent to online ranked matches and whatnot. Um, so as you see, man, we settled for a field goal. So we're down 24 to 26. As I've stated, man, I've been doing horrible. I've thrown way too many interceptions. I think four or something like that, man. They hit us with a screenplay, and that goes for a tremendous amount of yards. So I'm nervous. You know, our our win streak is in jeopardy right here. We get a huge sack thanks to the play action right there by Shaboinkin. Right here, second and 17, man. Quick little uh, curl route over there towards the right side. 
or it might have been a uh, a uh, an out route. I don't know. I was kind of looking away from the screen, and when I looked, he had the ball. Might have been an out route or a comeback, but either or, good pass. They pick up the first down. And right now, all I'm thinking to myself is we, we desperately need a stop. Even holding them to a field goal would be a huge, huge, uh, you know, stop for us considering a touchdown will give us the lead. Right here, they got close to getting that first down, but we stopped them on fourth and two, and they absolutely nail that field goal. So here we go, man. We have an opportunity to win the game right here, 29-24. Let's see if we can go on ahead and make it happen. So we have one drive to be able to see if we can go ahead and get this ball into the end zone. Two timeouts remaining in a little less than two minutes. And we actually get ourselves a very decent run to about the 42. So Kaepernick has the ability to go on ahead and see if we can make this a game-winning drive. We definitely want to make sure that we have the ball last. You don't want to score too early and give them an opportunity to drive downfield. So while also being able to try to move downfield, I want to be time efficient as well. Right, we roll outside the pocket and we end up finding my main man Tavon Austin with a huge reroute play right there over the middle, getting the huge first down. Right there, quick comeback to Des Bryant. We are within the red zone, almost 22 yard line. Kaepernick, he backs up and we try to go to the fan. We go up top and the ball is dropped by Desertron. That right there definitely hurts. So right here, second and ten. We step up inside the pocket. We go over the middle. Big old Gronk gets stopped on the one-yard line. Like I said, I'm trying to waste some time. We go to the play action. I'm looking. Nobody's open. We run towards the outside, and we get stopped inbounds. We have to waste our last time out. So, again, we have enough time for one play, and we go to the same play, and Des Bryant is booty butthole naked, dragging over towards the back of the end zone. Usually, you got to pay $75 an hour to see somebody that butt naked and we actually end up winning the game with seconds remaining oh man what's a game came down to the final drive couples um seconds remaining with no, with no timeouts i basically had enough for one more play and i was like you know what let's try to go line play action again Let's see if uh, we can get that voodoo where the drag comes open across the middle and thankfully it did because it didn't the first time First time I tried it, it was locked up. Second time it actually came through. Shapoinkin! Actually comes through with the player of the game. Well deserving. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Week 17 will be coming shortly. And I'm pretty sure I'm going on ahead and showing all of the league leaders and stuff after that. So hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. You guys should already know. Love each and every single one of y'all. It's your boy, Jess. And we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.